So you got yourself a bike, you've been riding it for a while, life is great and you're aware you need to maintain your bike, but you've got no idea where to start. Well, don't worry, because in today's video, I'm gonna explain the basics of bike maintenance to get you up and running or up and cycling for a more appropriate phrase. Basic bike maintenance is about doing the simple things you can to keep your bike in a working condition and make the parts last for longer. And as a result for your hard work, you're gonna save some money and hopefully avoid any frustrating mechanicals when you're out on the road. The most basic approach to bike maintenance is gonna require just three simple things. Keep the tires inflated, keep the bike clean, and keep the chain lubricated. So first up, let's take a look at inflating those tires. First step is to have a visual check over the entire surface of the tire to look for any deep cuts or damage that will allow the inner tube to escape out the side and could cause some punctures. If you're unsure or you think your tire needs replacing, head down to your local bike shop and they'll be able to advise you accordingly. Now in terms of the tire pressures, you're probably going to want to look to check this once a week. That should be a pretty good starting point for most setups in terms of the pressure. Now this is going to vary quite a bit depending on the setup that you have on your bike, the width of the tire and the weight of the rider. But as a general starting point, a 25 millimeter road tire with an average weight rider running an inner tube, you should probably look in the region of around 100 PSI. A lighter rider, you could reduce that pressure down slightly. A heavier rider, increase it up a little bit more. Now on an even wider tire, such as this gravel bike I've got here, you could probably look to be in the realms around 30 to 40 PSI. But the best thing to do is to refer to the pressure chart supplied by the manufacturer of the tires. So I'll put up on the screen a chart which gives an indicator for Pirelli road tires. So you can see as the width of the tire and the weight of the rider changes, so does the recommended tire pressure. Almost all bikes will have a valve which looks like this, and it's referred to as a Presta valve. To pump the tires up that uses this valve, you need to undo this small little end cap on the valve until that's nice and free. Take your pump, which has the suitable Presta valve fitting. If you've got two options on there, it's the smaller of the two. Place it all the way over the valve, push it firmly into place, and then pull the lever all the way back at that point, you can pump away to your heart's content using your pump to set it to the correct pressure. Oh, and when you take the pump off, like this, don't forget to do the valve back up. No need to do it super tight, finger tight's perfect. Thankfully, cleaning your bike is a pretty simple process as well. You're only actually gonna need a few components to do the basic job. Although there are a whole host and plethora of fancy pants cleaning products out there, you only need some of the essentials to get the basic job done. Something that you definitely don't need is to book out visitor space B. I've just done that for today. Now, the things I've got in front of me are the general purpose bike cleaner, I've got a degreaser, best to use a bike specific one, and then, I've got a clean sponge and a brush. Now, you need to have one or the other. You can either have two brushes or two sponges, or, as I've done, gone for a mix. One of them you're gonna to use to clean the frame and many of the cleaner parts of the bike. You're gonna keep that nice and free from grease. And then I'm gonna use the brush to clean all the chain, the cassette, the chain rings, all the bits that are pretty grimy and horrible. And then I've also got my bucket. So if you've got access to a hose pipe, happy days, you can use that for your clean water supply, or you can just fill your bucket up a couple of times. So the first thing we're gonna do is to use our hose pipe to simply wash off all of the loose dirt and get all of the easy bits off we can do first. Let's do it. Use your hose pipe, blast off and soak all of the bike. If you clean the gravel bike like this, it's a good idea to let the moisture soak into some of the mud to loosen it off. And then you can use a little bit of the pressure to blast off the loose sections. Don't forget all the little bits underneath the saddle and underneath the bottom bracket. Job done. If you haven't got a hose pipe, you could just use a watering can or your bucket and then pour all the water over to get all the loose bits of dirt. To apply your bike cleaner or detergent to the bike, you've got a few options. Option one, spray it directly from the bottle all over the bike. Option two, spray it directly onto your sponge or brush. Option three, pour the relevant amount of liquid into the bucket, although that's gonna use far more up. So what I'm gonna do to save using loads, I'm gonna spray it directly onto my sponge and then work the sponge all the way around the bike. Let's do it. Let's 
It's a similar situation for your degreaser. You can spray it directly onto the bike or spray it onto your brush. But what you need to do is ensure that you get degreaser over the chain rings, the cassette, and all the way around the chain, including the pulley wheels. But be mindful not to spray it directly into your bearings because I lost count how many times people have commented, God, look at Alex spraying degreaser into all his bearings. So just take a bit of caution, will you? So that's the frame, the wheels, all of the bike clean. We've gone to town on the drivetrain, let the degreaser work its magic and agitated that all the way in. So the next stage here is to take our hose pipe or our bucket of fresh water, rinse all of the soap suds and the degreaser off of the bike. Now, as we're doing the degreaser and getting that off the chain, we can back pedal as well to help wash all of that degreaser out. And then after that, flip the bike around, repeat the process. Let's do it. as well like this. Final step of cleaning the bike is drying the bike. For that, I've got two cloths. One, which I'm gonna use for the entire frame, the wheels, and generally all the components that are fairly clean. And then the other cloth, I'm gonna to use to wipe down all the dry chain components. So the chain, the cassette, and the chain rings, so that I'm not gonna spread any remaining grease or any other bits of dirt over the rest of my bike. And then I can keep those cloths, that order, ready for when I next do the job. So, let's get to it. Dry all the watery bits off do our best to have a nice clean bike and you also at the same time going to be able to examine how good or maybe a bad a job you've done at cleaning your bike for the first time but don't worry about it you'll only get better once you've cleaned the bike and dried it off thoroughly the next step for the basic maintenance is just to lubricate the chain you just simply need to take your favorite bike chain lube and apply it onto your chain that you've just thoroughly dried. What we're trying to achieve is to get about one drop of chain lube on the inside edge of the chain for every single roller. Now, the easiest way to apply the chain lube is to simply back pedal the bike and apply the chain lube between the lower pulley wheel and the chain ring. This is because this is the surface that is in contact with most of the components most of the time. Now, if you've got three minutes of your life which you're willing to give away, you could individually apply one drop to every single roller. But for those of us that are a little bit more time crunched, we can just do this. So take your chain loop, give it a shake, hold it here, gently squeeze and back pedal to ensure that we're getting complete coverage all the way around the chain. After a couple of rotations, Put your chain lube to one side, pedal it around to make sure the chain lube is working its way in between all of the rollers and the pins. Have a look at your chain, examine it like this. Yep, seems pretty good to me. It's not absolutely covered in chain lube, there's no need to see any of it dripping off. But if you find that you've applied a little bit more chain lube than you wanted to, you can just simply take a clean cloth, hold it gently on the chain, and just back pedal to wipe some of that excess off but don't spend too long doing it, otherwise you're just gonna wipe off all of the lube which you've just applied. No one wants to do that. And that's it, job done. You've now got the knowledge ready to complete the most basic maintenance of your bike. But don't be fooled into thinking that's it, job done, because you'll no doubt run into some other issues as you progress down the road. But you can be safe in the knowledge that we'll no doubt have a video to cover how to fix your bike. And if you want to see that video, you need to subscribe to GCN Tech and hit that bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And I'm going to go now, but before I do, I'm going to move some of the tools around because I know it annoys Doddy when he can't find the tool in the place he thinks it was. And if you've got any tips of your own, get them in the comments section down below. Try and help everybody out. Ciao and Bella Oregano.